Hey what's up everyone this is Wicked Android HD and tonight I'm gonna be showing you how to flash latest Omega ROM version 41 so it was released today and it is based on uh, <coughs> OB8 firmware uh, from Samsung Touchways Touchways base it's uh, based on Android 5.0.1 lollipop so uh, I gotta tell you guys that uh, I'm currently running Omega version 40 <coughs> which was uh, the stable ROM, the most stable ROM I've ever flashed on my Galaxy S4 <coughs> because um, I've been running this for more than 6 months right now Omega, all the Omega series, series and uh, as you may see here along with KT Kernel and um, all my data is stuck on this ROM. I'll have about uh, <clears throat> five gig or not five gig of Android backup, but almost two gig of data. And uh, yeah, that's that's about to say anything about everything about this ROM. This is rock stable. And uh, right now, I have decided to flash 5.0.1 in order to see if it's worth upgrading to. Uh, Android Lollipop 5.0.1 despite of the fact that uh, uh, stock TouchWiz doesn't benefit of Aroma Installer uh, and there's me see nice animations right here if you like to know how I how they work please leave a link leave a <coughs> comment down below and uh, I'll make a tutorial on how to do it how to do it um, so let's boot into recovery and see what Omega 41 has to offer us so let's put into recovery so I was talking about how stable this ROM is believe me it is rock stable so I have uh, big expectations from uh, Indy which is the developer uh, who's uh, which is the developer of uh, Omega series and uh, um, I hope it will be stable and fast because I'm gonna be running it with the hybrid max kernel because KT kernel is no longer supported unfortunately so it will be no no longer updated so we're now into fields touch first of all there are some things that you'll need to know before proceeding to the flashing uh, flashing uh, pot <clears throat> The first one is making an Android backup. How to do it? Go into backup and restore, and then backup to either SD card one or SD card. Simple SD card. Simple is the internal SD card, and SD card one is the external SD card if you have one. So after you've done that, you have your own custom ROM backup. <coughs> so in case of in something of something goes wrong, you'll be able to get back uh, to your backup without losing any data or so on and so forth and uh, after all uh, you'll need to know that um, if you're not uh, planning to use a custom kernel like, like uh, Hybrid Max which I'm gonna be using with Omega um, you will uh, you will uh, you must actually you must actually f uh, flash the latest modem OB8 modem if I'm not mistaken, OB8 modem, KitKat, it's a lollipop uh, modem, and um, after all, you'll need to update. You also need to update your bootloader, and, and uh, why would you do that? Bef because um, these uh, two files, the modem and the bootloader, will be necessary in order to make your Wi-Fi work perfectly. So yeah. So after you've uh, double checked this, uh, this. Uh, steps if you're not planning if you're planning to use the stock kernel which comes with the Omega and uh, not uh, the not a custom one so if you're planning to use a custom one like I'm gonna be doing in the next minutes all you need to do now is to go up and wipe and format clean to install a new ROM so right now it is wiping wiping all the data and all the system apps 
it will take some time because as I told you I have a lot of shit on my phone but let's hope the best so as I said before I have great expectations for from Omega I will be comparing this with my latest uh, video is the Imperium version 2 I said that uh, it was the fastest the most stable lollipop ROM that was released at that time now Omega is out and uh, we're gonna be testing out and see if uh, this ROM Omega is better than Imperium ROM uh, <coughs> so it's gonna be a personal opinion uh, it's your choice but um, we're gonna find out so after this is done go to install zip choose it from SD card or SD card 1 and then go to Omega version 41 so this ROM benefits of Aroma installer so you'll be able to select what uh, what things you'd like to install as you may see starting Aroma, Aroma installer with this beautiful logo I'm gonna, we're gonna be zooming in to see all the details so it says RAM information Omega version 41 theme stock only for Galaxy S4 i9 1505 pay attention all of users ask me every every single every single time that this is compatible with AT&T and uh, all T-Mobile versions all you have to do is to go into the link down below the official RAM thread on XDA and search it by yourself I don't know if it is it, it may be or it may be not but uh, you you'll risk uh, hard breaking your device and you don't want that believe me so the most simple way to find out if it is compatible to your device is to simple ask it on the forum itself and you'll get an answer so we're gonna select uh, full wipe and then we're gonna uninstall all this uh, this creepy shit test manager shortcut now we're gonna need on chrome google camera no drive no 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 google shit hangouts no 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 <coughs> sorry okay chat on no 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 interactive maybe live world paper yes as always my files my files of course my files default default file uh, file manager is it yeah maybe polar is viewer yes <coughs> Samsung update no because we're not gonna be Samsung calculator oh I think this is the unblo the, the bloater version so it uninstalls it installs all the apps you want and you need optical reader no Samsung music yes Samsung video yes <coughs> Samsung wallet Samsung watch on Samsung phones yes S kids S health S memo no Music live share story album as voice no trip advisor no voice recorder yes wallpaper picker yes and Yahoo news and Yahoo stocks nope let's see what do we have here let's double check this so we have Samsung apps nope 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 Samsung music yes it's 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 okay AccuWeather widget <coughs> we'll keep this digital clock nope yes nope nope Now Omega RAM is about to be installed. So I'm gonna, gonna get back to you guys after it finishes installing and we're gonna proceed with uh, the flashing, the kernel flashing. And afterwards, me personally, I don't like the three minute battery mode so I'm gonna be removing it with a simple zip, which I'm gonna be showing you uh, after the installation completes. So stay tuned guys. I'm back guys and the installation completed very fast but um, I'll take reboot device and get back into recovery uh, I gotta tell you for, for, for now that uh, first boot will take up more than uh, will take up to 20 minutes or more so you gotta you'd better get a coffee or something because it's gonna take a while because as I we see that um, 
lollipop uses a different type of cash and it's converting from the one uh, from KitKat which is Ka which is Dalvik to the one with uh, which comes with the lollipop ROM lollipop firmware which is art so <clears throat> right now after you flash the ROM let's flash the kernel actually actually no let's flash the stock battery icons which we're gonna find in if I'm not mistaken let's see let's see I download it No, I think it's here, right here. Yes, it's called stock battery icons. Yes. <clears throat> so right now, it's uh, switching from three minute battery mode to stock battery mode, and then we're gonna be flashing the kernel, which is Hybrid Max kernel version 3.5. Right now it says installing update, extracting kernel files, flashing kernel. It is recommended to wipe, we've already wiped everything. So right now we're gonna reboot the device and see if Omega uh, kept the old boot animation. So Galaxy S4. <coughs> right now booting up. Omega version 41 based on Lollipop. 5.0.1 latest OB8 base. Yeah, it's the same boot animation. So I'm gonna get back to you guys after I set up my device and after it boots up eventually. <laughs> and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back here running Omega version 41. I have uh, set up my device with my Google account and so on. And I got the kernel editor from, uh, from Placer. Um, <coughs> first impression is not that good but um, I gotta tell you that uh, it feels and behaves the same as Imperium ROM the things that I don't really like is that are that uh, uh, there aren't as many unlock effects as they were on the Imperium ROM uh, I had a problem with the Samsung keyboard which uh, wasn't actually operating so I had to get Google Keyboard in order to make it uh, work. Uh, another thing that I would uh, I like to be disabled in the next features is this S Finder and Quick Connect uh, button. Uh, I busted from um, GoldenEye ROM, I think, has already disabled it, and uh, I think that's a brilliant idea. Otherwise, it's a fast ROM nothing to be worried about if you want to keep it stock ROM, RAM, random access memories, sync shield uh, let's open some apps and see how it runs very smooth um, I got a request from my users to take a photo with the camera and show him how it looks like so let's take a photo and let's go to the gallery this is how it looks I don't want to tag Vin Diesel this time. <laughs> um, so yeah, that uh, this is Omega ROM, guys. Uh, and then there are things to be mentioned about this. Uh, so it's as fast as Imperium ROM without any further customizations. Like I said before, the unlocking effect. No lag at all. Everything is working as it should be. We got the uh, <coughs> power saving mode. Yeah, I think on Imperium we also had a grayscale mode. I don't think we have this on Omega. Omega is most likely a stock stock ROM Imperium is more like a single stock ROM um, yeah it's stable enough but uh, uh, it's a matter of choice I'd rather go for Imperium right now I don't know why maybe Omega should uh, 
bring an update to this uh, indie should bring an update to this uh, late to this first release apart from that everything is working perfectly fine messaging uh, and yeah so <coughs> this was the Omega ROM guys hope you like it let me show you the pill number if you did please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I really appreciate let's play some damn it feels good to be a gangst oh shit it's hard to play behind her oh, never mind so yeah I'm running Omega version 41 with hybrid max kernel version 2 5 <clears throat> so that was it for today guys Weekend Raid is out. Bye-bye.